Hi there, it's Rhonda here from uh, the Clever Corvid Art and Art Workshops. And today I'm bringing you a really fun challenge. Uh, it has a lot of different ways that this challenge can be approached. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what you do with this. Uh, we're going to use something today that everybody should have at home, especially with the way people have been shopping lately. We're going to use, of course, the toilet paper roll. Okay, so uh, get on your thinking caps. You ready? So some of you might know I was a high school art teacher for almost 20 years. And with that, my job wasn't to necessarily teach students how to do something step by step, even though I do do that in workshops. My job as a teacher is to get you to become a critical thinker and a creative thinker. So a critical thinker is one that can analyze, look at things, do some interpretation, problem solve, and uh, think openly about solutions. I also uh, teach you to be a creative thinker. Think outside of the box, how you can use your imagination to make your ideas flow, add colors, patterns, designs, whatever it is that comes out of your dreams and your thoughts. So those are two really big things that are important to me as a teacher. Think critically and think creatively. If you develop those skills, those are actually going to have uh, practical applications in real life. So even though art might be something that is fun to do um, and playful, art is really important in helping you to become a better thinker. That's why my mantra for my business is think art. Put the ideas in your head, think about how you're going to do something and then make it from your head to your hand, right? So here we go. I'm going to show you a variety of different ways that you can use a toilet paper roll and then you're going to come up with your own creative or practical piece with toilet paper rolls. And then what I want you to do is share your ideas with me on my Facebook page. Okay? All right, here we go. First, we're going to use the toilet paper roll as a tool itself. So this is going to be something that's going to help us make art. Are you ready? Let's see what we can make with this. I have this paper towel. Ah, I keep on calling it paper towel. It's toilet paper roll intact. So it's got this beautiful ring on the end. I'm going to dip that in some paint. I just have some regular paint. Any kind of paint will do. Ooh. That's pretty neat. Look at how I was able to make rings. I wonder what kind of design could be made just by dipping the tube into paint and pressing it onto paper. Hmm. What if I decided to cut a little bit of the tube and I wanted to alter the shape? What happens? If I press the ends, oh, that's an interesting shape. What will that look like printed? Hmm, interesting. What kind of shape does that look like to you? A leaf? Rabbit ears? An eye? This has a lot of potential to be some interesting art, especially if you can use a lot of colors. Maybe you're saying, well, I don't have any paint at home and I don't know how to get any paint. You don't necessarily have to use paint all the time. And believe it or not, you have stuff in your house that you can use to paint. I have used the juice from beets in a jar to paint full paintings with and it actually looks incredibly beautiful. You can also make kind of like a paint paste out of just flour and water. 
flour gives it the thickness and then you can use food coloring if you have some from making easter eggs in the past or even different foods can be used to color flour and water like hot chocolate hot chocolate mix or uh ketchup or mm, what else hmm there's so many different colorful foods out there what do you think you could use? Blueberries? Ooh, that would be really cool. Maybe you can play with your food a little bit. Don't waste though. Don't waste a lot of food, but explore that. Maybe you can make your own paint. Hmm. Now in continuing in using a toilet paper roll as a tool, Grab yourself a pair of scissors and very carefully start snipping. Just, <laughs> I'm not even in the camera. Just start snipping up the tube a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna finish this. You're gonna go all the way around. If you're using sharp scissors and you're little, Please make sure that you're using them safely and that an adult is around to help guide you. So I have these all cut here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend them over. Now give me a minute to flip the camera around and then I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. So that's pretty interesting looking. Now I'm going to grab my paint again and I'm going to take this whole thing and I'm gonna dip it and I'll keep on checking. I wanna make sure that all of those pieces of cardboard that have been cut are covered in paint. Then I'm just going to go around in a circle. Ooh, that's very interesting looking, isn't it? Oh, I like that. just made a flower. What could you make? This could become so many different things, especially if you use bright colors and dark paper. Hmm, lots of different options for that. Now I've made one that has even longer fringes. So now I'm gonna put these back. Bend them all. Oh, wonder what this is going to look like. If your cardboard happens to rip, you can just tape it back together again. It's okay if it rips. Well, oh, this doesn't even fit on here. Uh-oh. That's the fun about exploring is sometimes you run into problems. See how I'm fixing that? I'm just dipping it in different spots. Let's see what happens now. Ooh, I like that. Let's see the difference between those two. See that? One is quite big and one is a lot smaller. Hmm, that's an interesting discovery. Another way this could be used as a tool is you could glue flat things onto the outside of the tube and then you can roll it all in paint and then you can roll that along your paper and you'll get some really interesting patterns I bet. Maybe things like buttons would be good for that. It would all have to be the same level all the way along so that it rolls for you. Hmm. wonder what you could come up with for that. Hmm. So this toilet paper roll can also be used for practical purposes in your home. So I've seen pictures where people have put like their wires through it to kind of keep their wires held in place. 
I've actually used a cardboard tube as a iPhone holder where I cut a slit in it and I put some tacks on the bottom to kind of hold it down. And then the phone just sits right in it. Um, things can slide through it. Things can be propped beside it. Things can be put into it as well. But there's a problem if you put things into a small paper towel roll or a toilet paper roll. It falls over. Hmm. What's a good way of fixing that problem? How could you make it so that you can hold your items up in the toilet paper roll, decorate it so it looks nice, but it holds everything in place. That's something that you'll have to think about. I have some solutions to it, but I want you to come up with some solutions on your own. Okay, think about that. So now we're gonna talk about transforming a toilet paper roll into something completely different. Let's start with characters. As soon as you add eyes to something, it can be a person, or it can be an animal, or it can be a mythical creature, suddenly it has so many different options. What can you add to this? Can you add arms? Can you add two legs? Can you add four or maybe a thousand legs? Maybe it's not going to stand up like this at all. Maybe it's going to be sideways and have legs this way and a head or something like that. Maybe it's going to have a tail or horns or it's going to turn into a dragon. Hmm, so many different characters that it can be. What's your favorite character and how can you use a toilet paper roll to recreate your favorite character? Wouldn't that be fun? I'm thinking of my nephew right now who could turn these into little superheroes. That would be really neat. Just an idea, right? What else can we make with a toilet paper roll? Let's think about it. What if it was transformed into another thing, like a whole village of little houses? Or maybe it could become an airplane or something that flies through the sky. Maybe it goes underground and something lives inside of this tube. Hmm. What can go on top of it? What can go below it? What can be beside it? And even this way, on top, below, beside, in. This has so many options. This is just the beginning. Hmm. Finally, what if you started to take the tube and cut it into pieces, kind of like I showed you in the beginning, but you cut a whole bunch of pieces. If you start attaching these rings together, what can they become? <laughs> or maybe they can be folded and pieced together to become something. Hmm. This looks like wings of some kind, or maybe a whole bunch of them can be pieced together to create an interesting something or another. Maybe you can take this cardboard and you can completely cut it open and just use it flat, or maybe so that it, it rocks. Maybe you can take piece of it and a pencil or a brush or anything skinny and you could start to roll it. This is called quilling by the way when you start to do that with papers. Oh, I made a spiral. Maybe I can open it up a little bit, make it an even bigger spiral. What could you do with spirals? There are so many options to what you can do with a single toilet paper roll. The options are endless, really endless. So this is my challenge to you. Young, old, 
skilled, not skilled, supplies, no supplies, whatever you have on hand, you all have this. You all have a brain. You all have the capability of transforming this into something. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what you do with a single toilet paper roll. So challenge on to you. Go for it. And please share your final results with me. And I will make sure to post them on my Clever Corvid Facebook page with you. Have fun. Think art. Bye.